The other day on radio, I heard your moving letter. You're right, we're down, but it's okay. We'll soon be doing better. You see, as a nation, we're very young, but we've done a lot of living. And yes, you're right again, our sin has always been in giving. We've fought for causes not our own, crusaded too when needed. And when we've seen an unfair fight, we've cared and interceded. But as you say, we get no thanks. Instead, somehow we're hated. Time after time it's proven so, we're not appreciated. But you know what? This world is made of givers and of takers. And we, it seems, were meant to give, to be doormats, peacemakers. Too many times our fine young men have gone in droves like cattle across the sea to lose their lives in someone else's battle. Our Arlingtons are not concerned with kings, dictators, bosses, but with unnecessary rows of neatly placed white crosses. Remember, as a nation that's young, we're telling quite a story. We've left our footprints on this earth, and on the moon, old glory. We are a nation under God, and surely he sustains us through every setback that we have, through every war that drains us. So Gordon Sinclair, thanks a lot. Your words are reassuring, but please don't worry, we'll survive and do some more maturing. Our teapot domes, our water gates, our every scrape and scandal will not defeat us, but improve our skills and how to handle it. It may be that we are not wise to show the world our fumbles, revealing all our inner strife, our discontents and grumbles. But we are frank, perhaps naive. We do not hide our errors. No, we parade them honestly, with truths our standard bearers. Perhaps in time we'll realize in our concern for others, we cannot feed the whole wide world or be to all men brothers. Yet we would pray if we should cease our universal mission that caring would not be destroyed or lost in the transition. And so from all Americans, take this appreciation. With love from these United States, still this great world's greatest nation.